Hello everyone, I just want to welcome you guys to episode one of the Hectic Homestead. Uh, as you can see, here is our home behind me that we just recently purchased, along with some acreage. First, we're going to start off with an overview of the property. This is an image from Vintage Aerial from 1982. You can see the old house here, and there appears to be a shack where my shed is currently located, which you'll see in later episodes. Uh, there's an old clothesline and some other things around the area. I would highly suggest checking out your area on this website to see if there's uh, older images for your home and property. Another good source to use is On X Hunt. I currently have a free trial that ends actually tomorrow, but I do plan on purchasing this app. It shows you aerial imagery with terrain, such as you can see this one here, elevation. Uh, the next image here will show like pretty much the taxel parcel viewer, shows where the house was, shows where the barn is, and there used to be a trailer on the property which is no longer there. There's a few different views, and this one here you can see where there's a creek running through the property. This helped me tremendously when I was trying to find corner posts for my property lines. So this here is to give you an idea of what you can pull from this app. This is the property right here. Uh, it's about to highlight in green for you. But you can pull the property owner's name. You can pull the size of the lot, what wildlife management unit. If you're into hunting, that's at least here for Pennsylvania. Uh, the property owner's address and different information such as that. If you've seen that clip there, I had an area that was blue highlighted within my property. That is area that I'm planning on clearing out, where it's just too thick, low ground. Uh, it's very unusable at the moment. And then off of my property, you've seen another area there that was highlighted, and that's the neighbors. They have 18 acres back there that they're planning on selling, and that's approximately six and three quarter acres that align directly behind my property hoping to uh, possibly make a deal with them on splitting their land up to possibly grab that piece from them, obviously, so we have more property. But that will be future, and we will keep you up to date on that. If you guys want to see more about this app, just leave a comment below. Let me know. I can do a tutorial for you, show you all the cool features that it does provide for you. I've used it actually quite a bit since buying this property. This property has 3.6 acres of land with it, with a pole barn and this old house here. We will be taking down the old house as it is pretty, pretty gone inside. There are two cistern wells, one here and one here. We're planning on keeping the one down by the barn and possibly relocating this one if I can get it out of the ground with the machine without breaking it all up. We have done a little bit of work out here so far. Just little things. Shed. Still need to finish the roof on. That's going to be my command center during the build. 
how I can have all my tools and more expensive stuff locked up and not having to walk around with it not having to drag it back and forth between the other house and here I have a new electric service on the pole out here waiting for the electrical inspector to come out to get that switched over there is well and septic here's the well and the septic is in the back there we do have plans of doing some work on both of them uh, putting a submersible well in the well there right now there's a jet pump in the basement but it keeps losing prime so I don't want to have to mess with that put a submersible then not have to worry about losing prime again take a walk down to the uh, shed here or the barn There's a lot of rocks in this yard that we have been cleaning up. Lots of trash. The previous owners, well, the previous owner passed away and the family pretty much bulldozed everything back into the woods. So we have been cleaning that up. Here's Mr. Rooster. He came with the property. He's a gorgeous little fella. Here's the inside of the barn. Here's my temporary chicken shack for the time being while we're working on the coop. We have five boys out here and they are loving it. As you can tell, four wheelers always covered in mud. But uh, two stalls in this barn at the moment. Plan on doing some rearranging in here. And as you can see, just so much trash. We found boxes upon boxes of trash just buried out here. I even brought a skid loader in to drag a lot of stuff out. We dug out over a foot in this corner and there's still trash buried. So it's gonna be a lot of work cleaning up same with back here, there was an old mobile home back here that was torn down, but there was just insulation blown everywhere. As you can see on the ground, there's just trash everywhere. So, we are hoping to start the tear down of the house on Friday and uh, Hopefully get a bunch of this stuff cleaned up. I'm out here just bagging trash today. That's really my only concern today is bagging trash till I get bored of it. But I cleared all this out because there's just so much trash everywhere back here. So I used the skid loader to kind of drag it all out and whatnot and kind of somewhat put it into piles to make it a little easier for me to clean up. So that's what I have as of now. We got wire just coming out of the ground randomly. Oh, it's coming out of the ground there. So that must have been going from the barn to the to the trailer. Mm -hmm. 